A ballot victory for Ohio Democrats this week now has them looking forward to November. They say by defeating the Republican-backed bill issue one, the ability to amend the state's constitution remains intact. And they say that could ultimately impact an amendment to protect abortion rights long term. Fox 55's Brianna Bias is in studio to explain issue one. Yeah, Barrett, Tara, abortion is legal in Ohio until the baby is about 22 weeks along, but that right is not currently protected by the state constitution, and Democrats want to change that. Ohio Democrats rejoicing this week after squashing Republican-backed issue one. We are overjoyed that Ohioans banded together and rejected this attempt to silence our voices. Issue one would have made it more difficult for citizens to change elements of the state constitution by requiring a 60% supermajority vote. Diamond Crumbie with Planned Parenthood of Ohio encouraged pro-choice constituents to vote no. Issue one essentially is one of the most brazen and undemocratic attempts to try to silence Ohioans. But we sent a clear message and rejected this attempt um, to silence our voices. She says Planned Parenthood collected over 700,000 signatures this year to put an abortion amendment to the state constitution on November's ballot. And that's what concerns Michelle Duffy with the Catholic Conference of Ohio. We have already sent out almost a million prayer cards and flyers to parishes across Ohio to help inform them about this amendment and to begin praying to um, oppose or to defeat the amendment in November. They did not take a stance on issue one, but they do take a very clear stance against the proposed abortion amendment. By helping to defend life, a big part of that will be to oppose this ballot initiative to help people understand the dangers that this could bring. Their next move, mobilizing pro-life people all over the state to vote against it in November. But Crumbie is still confident the amendment will pass. We're going to make phone calls, knock on doors, write letters, and we are confident that Ohioans will vote yes on November 7th for our reproductive rights amendment. And as contentious as these statewide discussions are, some experts believe they could have an impact on the next presidential election. And of course, Fox 55 will keep you updated on air and online as those conversations heat up. Live in studio, I'm Brianna Bias, Fox 55 News.